people saw mom and pop, they would think it's old people. Okay. <laughs> and then we weren't old people. We, we are now. Yeah, it was it was mom and pop production kick ass karaoke. Yeah. That was that was our name. Many years ago, we were sitting up at this little club uh, bar, and uh, every time I'd set the song books out, I'd go past this guy, and he would start growling at me, going, don't put a book down here, because you're not going to get me singing. I ain't going to do it. And I would have to explain to him, I know, Leon, well, please just quit fussing at me and let me do what I do. And this went on for six months to a year. Finally, one night I'm working away and I look up and he's handing me a slip. And lo and behold, his name was on the slip. He said, well, don't get excited. Don't think it's ever going to happen again. I, I lost a bet and I'm a man of my words. I'm going to get up here one time and do this. He gets up and he sings. And I call the next person up and we're going along and I feel this tug on my shoulder. And I turn around and look, and it's Leon. He said, can I do another one? <laughs> the best place to hear is on stage. When you hear yourself, it's like being in the band, especially if the music's nice and loud around you. And when you get down, and people go, well done. And you just end up talking to people. It's, and, and if you don't, then some people, you know, might even encourage you, you know, might introduce you to someone, you know? It's, it's like a family. It truly is. They offer to buy me drinks to bribe me. If you let me sing, I'll get you anything you want. Mm -hmm. Or you're really doing a good job. Can I get you something to drink? I say, no, I'm, I'm allergic to alcohol. Okay, I wake up with bars in front of my face. It's a terrible thing. <laughs> He used to also say, if I was still drinking, there wouldn't wouldn't be enough left for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I get reminded every night of, of, of what I what I used to be from seeing some people <laughs> that are being the guy I used to be. We got people uh, sharing microphones, and and uh, I'm thinking. You know, I, I would love to keep this going, but it doesn't make a lot of sense when we got something that's contagious happening. They want to come sing. I mean, that, that's their social life. You know, that is their social life. Leon ended up putting a karaoke unit in his house with monitors he could switch on in each room. I called him Neon Leon because he was such, turned into such a showman. <laughs> I'm a blessed man. I, I, I have a job where a lot of my customers are, are friends, okay? We, I know their families. I, I know their history. I, I know their trials and tribulations, and I, I, get to, I get to be with my friends, have a good time with them, and let them sing and have a good time. I get to, to sing a few songs. I take my turn like everybody else. I miss it dearly, dearly, and uh, uh, I'm not one for sitting at home. <laughs> but I will tell you the fact that uh, I am uh, used to a one day at a time process, that I am making it through this. And the fact that uh, I get online with uh, my fellows Okay, who are like like minded as I, <laughs> uh, softens the blow considerably. If I st stop and think about I'm never going to do anything ever again, that's a long time. Okay, or if I think uh, a month ahead, that's a long time. But if I just think through today, I can do today. Okay. I can't do tomorrow yet because it's not here. <laughs> yeah. And, and yesterday's out of here. So I'm just doing what I have to do today. Yeah.